Hey, and welcome to this completely optional, but not really, lecture. It will be very short, but extremely useful for you. Albeit a little off topic. Let's see what I'm talking about. In the last lesson, I did not give you the regression summary in code. I'll try to do that. Hmm, there is some unexpected error. Here's the problem. As stats models is based on SciPy, and both stats models and SciPy are open source, problems occur from time to time. You can find a discussion about that on GitHub. What I am telling you now, I found out about precisely on GitHub. So, it may be biased in some way, but I doubt it. It seems that stats models was using a function from SciPy. That function was changed or removed from SciPy, which caused some methods in stats models to stop working, including this one. Now, the fix is so easy that one of the developers of both SciPy and stats models basically said they won't bother until the next release. After all the great tools they've created, we can let this one slip, I guess. So, what is the workaround? We are basically filling in the same function that is no longer there. How do I know all this, you may wonder? Well, I read the error message and then Googled it. And that's what we often must do in such situations. There are two takeaways from this lecture. One, open source projects like Python and its libraries are not immaculate. You can use some functionality for years and it can just stop working with the next update. Two, workarounds are out there waiting for you to find them. And that, students, is the most important two-minute lesson you'll get on programming in Python. Things break, but they also get fixed. The internet is a big enough place for both mistakes and solutions. So, henceforth, or at least until the end of this section, this fix will be in the import the relevant packages part of the notebooks. Let's quickly check if it works. Cool. In the next lesson, we will go through the summary itself. Thanks for watching.